Hi there and welcome to another video. My name is Paul Williams and in this video we are going to talk about backlinks. What are backlinks and how do you get backlinks? Enjoy watching this video. Okay, in this final video we are going to talk about link building. So what is link building? Well, link building is actually founded by Google. And if we take a look at the scientific paper, which has been written by Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the founders of Google, they describe backlinks. And it means when website A is linking to website C, that is actually a vote for website C by website A. And website B linking to website C, that is a vote from website B to website C. The more important these websites, the more important the backlink for website C. So the more links website C gets, the higher it will rank in Google. And this was the foundation of Google. And this was why Google got so big. Nowadays, Google says more, well, backlinks count, but still you need to have a really good and informative website. So back to link building. Well, first of all, it is important to know how many internal and external hyperlinks you have. And this is something you can really track easily with Google Search Console. And let's take a look at it. So if we take a look at Google Search Console and we press uh, links at the bottom here, you can see that the, um, we have a section external links and internal links. And internal, the website is linked uh, pretty good, but the Google says we don't have any data from the external links. And this is actually not right because we know we have a lot of external links but we know there are. Well, we leave it for what it is, so we don't have any external links. 61 internal links, so that's pretty good. So we put here 61, and we put here zero. And if we take a look at the, the dead pages, so the, the pages with 404s, that's only one. So that's only one dead page. So important to fix the 404 page, it's easy. You have to put a 301 redirect in, and we'll make a movie about it. Since we don't have any external links, well, that's not true because this is already an external link. Since we don't have any external hyperlinks, we need to get some external hyperlinks. So what we can do is we can see how many backlinks we have based on Google. And the link audit from external websites, that was actually deprecated in 2017, this function. But still, we can use it. It doesn't work really good anymore, but still, it, it might give us an impression how good the backlinks of how many backlinks we have. So if we paste link at www. and then the tunicaofferte.nl, we see we have about 130 results. And this should give an indication. So, um, well, there's a lot of portals, so I know there are some backlinks in it. So this result is 130. So based on this link audit, I will have 130 links to my website. And let's do the same research for Huur and Bus. Fact is, we need more good backlinks. So. Um, I have a backlink here from a website and it's actually a forum and in this forum um, my name was mentioned and what I see in Google Analytics that we have really a lot of backlinks coming from this website to our website. What I want to do now is to see, um, so pretend if we don't have any link on this website, but we know this website is about uh, buses and about coaches. And let's see if this would be a good partner for us. So first of all, let's say for the keywords, for the keyword bus huren, yeah, or the, so renting a bus, uh, it, should it be good? So I'm gonna ask myself a number of questions and based on those questions, if it, if it fits, I can give the full 10 points. If it don't fits, I can give zero points. Uh, if it fits halfway, I can give uh, some points. So first question, is the website and the page theme related? So it means, does this website and this page is all about renting a coach? Well, the website, it isn't, because it is a really broad forum 
about uh, all kinds of topics but this particular page is all about renting a coach and people who give each other tips and and well the discussion starts with my own website so that's good so i think i give here a vote number eight does how does the page rank on the google uh, in google on the keyword of your website well that's kind of hard to to understand if i paste if i paste uh, a word which is important for my website then i probably won't see the website because it the first two three four five pages is all about companies who actually rent a bus so does it score well not really is the page an authority in the sector so it means uh, when people want to rent a coach do they go to this form well actually not but it is not really bad because um, the forum itself is really an authority, but on really different subjects. So I'm gonna give them three instead of five. Uh, is quality of the incoming hyperlinks? Well, I know for sure, because I know the website for some time, that a lot of people link to the website and there are also a lot of go outgoing hyperlinks to this website. And since the website is an authority itself, it is quite good. So I'm going to give seven and three points here. Is it possible to buy hyperlinks on the website? Well, they get a lot of advertisements, but, but you never can pay to get uh, a, a good subject into the forum itself. So you can only pay around the forum. So this is zero instead of minus 50. What is the keyword density of the page based on my... Uh, my website is it high so from from renting a coach renting a touring car well you don't have to calculate you can actually just see it and based on the uh, visual evaluation you can say well this is about renting touring cars or not so it's actually only one point so it's not too much so we press zero. What is the traffic of the website? Of the website, and we have a link there: alexa.com slash site info. So let's go there, and then we're going to this website, and we paste the site. Let's have a look. Well, rank uh, thirty-six thousand four six seven. Well, it's a big number, but it's pretty good. So I'm going to give two out of three. And what is the what is the bounce rate on the website? You can also see it at alexa.com. So let me do a quick search on the page here. Bounce rate, well, it's 27.6. Well, it's quite good because most of the websites have a bounce rate of more than 50. So that's pretty good. So I'm, I'm gonna give a three. Uh, is the Alexa info link uh, rank lower than your website? No, because then we give a two. And is the age of the website older than two years? And if, if the website exists for some years, then you can see it as quite an authority. So let's copy it and we're gonna paste it here. And this is really a cool website because if you paste the website you have seen, then you can actually see how old the website is. And we're living now in 2019 and you can see that the website already exists from 2001. One small nice detail, if we go to, to 2010, then we can actually see a snapshot of the website, how it was then. So it looked like this. This is pretty, pretty nice. So it's really an authority because it exists quite some time. So that's five. Does the website have more than 15 entries in Google? So I'm, I'm, for, I'm for sure it is. So sites, and then it is, and then 1.350. So that's a lot. And it's of course, because of all the different topics. So it is really good findable in Google. And based on this information, I can tell that it's a really, really important website. So this is gonna be five. And then we have made, made an evaluation and you can, you, you can get the numbers a little bit up or down. So now we see when the, the score here is between 30 and 40, then this would be a pretty good website. So 
if you want to get some ideas from websites and websites where to link to, uh, maybe some nice sources would be uh, Google Alerts or Google Trends. I come to that in another video. So this is how you get backlinks to your website. This was the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.